this past weekend um, against Southern Miss, what was the biggest key uh, in your opinion? Um, the biggest key was to just keep fighting because we knew it was going to be a close game. We knew it was going to be a dog fight. Uh, we really wanted them to keep that goose egg on the scoreboard, but they found a way to get in the end zone. So it is what it is, but we just kept fighting and pulled it out for our team. You know, you guys only allowed 67 yards passing in that game. Now you have the best um, passing defense in Conference USA in terms of yards allowed per game uh, and sixth nationally, I believe. What's been the biggest key in, in doing that? Um, the biggest key is really our chemistry. Like, we, we've we been together for a nice a nice minute. Everybody been together four years plus. So we all just bought in. We all know where the next man is going to be. So we rely on that and just try to play – to our best of our ability. Deontay, Matthew Argrove here with the College Heights here. We just got done talking to your defensive coordinator, Clayton White, and he said even though you guys have been sensational on the defensive side, he would like to see more turnovers. Do you feel the same way? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel that way because there's certain games where if we would have got a turnover, we may have, you know, pulled it out and got the win. So sometimes we just continue to harp on that and understand that we must make more plays you know we can't be content with being one of the best defenses quote unquote one of the best defenses but we got to get more turnovers hey Deontay Jared McDonald with the Daily News again you know coach White when we just had him talked a little about about over the summer you guys kind of went analytical with um, the amount of time you'd have to cover before the quarterback starts getting that pressure on him that 2.5 seconds um, you wanted to you cover them for at least three seconds to try to get that pressure on those guys with a good D-line you know, how much do you think about that in a game uh, or walking through practice or just in general? Uh, I think about it, but just in general, just being a cover guy, I'm, I'm going to cover mine until the whistle blows, you know. So if it's 2.5 seconds, if it's four seconds, I believe our guys will get there in 2.5 seconds because we got a great D-line, but I'm ready to cover for 30 seconds if I have to, especially since I've seen DeAndre Hopkins catch a Hail Mary in the back of the end zone. we got to continue to cover. Uh, you know, with this FIU team, I guess uh, watching the film on paper, what stands out about those guys to you? Um, they're a pretty solid group. They're going to run with what they run. Even if you stop it, they're going to continue to go to it and try to, you know, get it going. So we just have to be ready for they're, you know, like the basic things we see on film. We just got to come ready and shut it down, and then it'll be hard for them to switch it up. You know, last game at home this season uh, with a lot of seniors on this team, what does that mean to you uh, playing in this last game with these guys? Um, There's no – it's not set in stone that it'll be the last game with those guys, and I'm sure that's that's how a lot of people feel, so – it may be the last one, it may not be, but we going we cherish all the moments we have together, so it'll be a good one. I guess how how confident are you that those points are gonna um come at some point and the floodgates are gonna kind of open up? I say very confident to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Just like I feel like with the time we on the field, you know what I'm saying, like those drives. We're moving the ball, we just gotta stop being ourselves, you know what I'm saying? We look at the drives, it's like we're moving the ball, just to you know, we hurt ourselves, gotta move it back. So like you know what I'm saying, we always playing against the defense and ourselves, I feel like. Once we cut that out, I thought we'd be fine. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, like, you just dish and dish. You just got to keep, keep on continuing, you know what I'm saying, try to gain points, build the offense, you know what I'm saying, see what we do better. Just keep getting better, I think. You know, looking at this FIU defense, it seems like they've faced a lot of dual-threat quarterbacks, um, you know, with Posey from FAU, O'Hara with Middle, and, and Willis with Liberty. You know, you're a dual-threat guy, um, and they've had – some, some trouble stopping the dual threat guys, you know, how much do you look at that and kind of lick your chops? And, and I guess, what do you see from those guys that might provide some opportunities for you? Yeah, big opportunities, you know what I'm saying? Just can't, just can't go off what they did those games, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everything get better, everything see what they did wrong, or like try to control or fix what they got to stop, you know what I'm saying? Or they have hard times with. So me just looking at those games, well, I really watched like one or two games right now, but like me just looking at those games, if they did play dual third quarterback, I feel like it's a good opportunity for me, but also for like, Everybody around the off offense, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure we just got to do our thing, do our job, execute, try to put points on the board, like you said. Piggy, Matthew Hargrove here with the College Heights Herald. You almost had your first 200-yard passing game last weekend. Was last week uh, the most comfortable that you felt in the game this season? 
Uh, I want to say that. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, just looking at every game, I feel like I've been, like, very, you know what I'm saying, comfortable with everything. Just depends on how far our defense on the ball. You know what I'm saying? You look at that. You look at the game we had. I had one that was supposed to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, one big yard, you know what I'm saying, ball, like, down the field. I feel like, like we do that more. I feel like if we continue to do that. But if not, we just got to execute with Coach Dog. You know, so whatever you call it, you got to execute. I feel like at the end of the day, like, we get the 200 yards, we got to put up points. We got to win. I just care about winning. You know what I'm saying? Those things, like points and winning have been doing. So, you got to continue to try to keep winning. You know what I'm saying? Bid on this from next year or whatever. And uh, this weekend is obviously the last home game of the season. Can you believe you've already reached this point? Yeah, the season has been going my fast. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's been a great time with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Just building relationships. You know what I'm saying? Just feeling back. You know what I'm saying? I, not saying I ain't feel at home in Maryland, but like, just being in the South, you know what I'm saying, it was a good feeling. Just being back in the South was a great feeling, you know what I'm saying, being around these guys. Just meeting new people, I'll say. You know, you guys got off to a really good start. Um, first couple of drives last weekend. How important is that going to be again this weekend, and how much more comfortable are you um, with the lead, with the way that the defense has been playing lately? I mean, defense has been playing, playing great, man. You know, so we just got to execute on those stuff that, that we get, you know what I'm saying, turnovers that they do make, you know, so we just got to execute this. Deal from that, even though some got to take advantage of, like, I feel like the extra, the extra, uh, I say, possessions that we get, you know, some got to take advantage of those because I feel like they helping us out. We just got to help them out, you know. So we stand on the field long enough, we just got to put points up. I feel like, so I feel like this week, hopefully, we'll get those, you know, saying get that down, you know, saying get one thing down, like, what's that, like, just them, just them, you know, saying helping us out, and us helping them out. You know, it's kind of a unique game. Um, you came from Maryland. FIU's got a quarterback that came from Maryland and Max. I guess, how much do you know about him or, or how much have you kept in contact with him and have you helped the defense out at all trying to scout that guy? Uh, not really. I mean, I told I told a couple guys today, like, I feel like he could throw the ball, you know what I'm saying? But I heard, like, they got a little QB issue right now. But I told him, like, I don't, was kind of shocked because I feel like he was a good player in Maryland, you know what I'm saying? He's a good guy. I talked to him over the summer a couple times, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, like, I feel like he's a good, you know what I'm saying? He's a good guy, good, good QB, can throw the ball, you know what I'm saying? Make some nice passes, nice throws.